Hello. Welcome to my channel, Autumn and the Mage. I'm going to be doing a reading um, today for Pisces. Uh, welcome to my first ever recorded reading. <laughs> That's going to go to the public anyway. <laughs> Thank you for being here for this. I appreciate it, whoever ends up watching this. Um, please remember, though, that readings are general. Uh, and um, this reading might not be yours. There are a lot of readers out there, so um, if it doesn't resonate, if it doesn't feel like it's your story, then don't try to make it fit. It might just not be yours, so just check out another reader. Maybe you will, um, maybe they will be telling your story. Um, so I'm going to do, I mainly like to do love readings. That's the subject I like to read about. So that's what I'm going to focus on. So this should be um, a reading about a romantic relationship between you and somebody else, Pisces. I have already um, cleansed my space and... I'm ready to go out and get started. Actually, my sage has been smoking so much that it has literally filled the room with smoke. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but maybe it's just supposed to be that way. So I'm going to get some cards um, on how you feel about this situation, how your person feels about you, um, a possible outcome. And then I'm going to pull um, an oracle card for some advice. So, let's, well, let's get started. Wow, this is coming out on you. On your side here, we've got the Two of Swords, which is kind of indecision, Pisces. Let's see, how's Pisces feel about the person they're connecting with? Wow. The Two of Swords and the Empress. So I get one more card. How the Pisces is feeling about their person. Oh, well, yeah. Nine of, Nine of Swords. That's, that's so interesting. I mean, the Empress, that, that's like... That's the person, right? I mean, she's gorgeous. She's got it all. She also represents like new beginnings and um, really, if you feel like they're the empress, then you must think that they're your person, but you got all of this. You're thinking, you're stressing a lot. Look at this. I wonder what it is you're stressing about. So we'll go ahead, we'll we'll look into that in just a minute, but let's first get some cards for how your person feels about you. The person that you are connecting with, can you please tell us how that person feels about Pisces? Please tell us how this person feels about Pisces. Interesting. Two of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles. I'll get one more card for how this person feels about Pisces. The Knight of Swords. Well, Two of Pentacles is in a way it's like thinking but their their kind of thoughts are different than yours where you're kind of trapped and insecure in unsure and maybe insecure they they know what they want and they're thinking about they're thinking about what they want and how to get there um and the queen of pentacles that's definitely a good sign the knight of swords that's those are both good things because they're planning, they're looking to the future, they're planning what they, what steps they want to take and where they want to head, and they want to, they, they look at you as somebody that they want to care for, 
I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, that's a very, like, nurturing um, energy. Uh, and this is they're charging in. I mean, that's the the Knight of Swords. He's he's definitely got um, a destination in mind, and he's headed straight for it. So there is sometimes the Queen of Pentacles is fo is self focused, like focusing on oneself instead of um, feelings for someone else. But I don't really look at it that way. I don't look at it as self care or self focus. But they are looking to the future. I mean, they're looking for what they want. They're like trying to, I mean, they know what they want. They're trying to figure out how to get there. That's what they're doing in this, in the two of wands. They, they have their hand on that wand and they're holding that globe in their hand and they're trying to figure out like, this is what I want. How am I going to get it? So yeah, let's go ahead and clarify. Actually, can we get clarification on the two of swords, please? What is this two of swords? What is it that Pisces is struggling to decide on. What's this Two of Swords? The world. Like you don't know if you should continue. You're not sure if you should end it, end maybe this connection or, um, and start with a new one. Possibly, can we get a um, clarification on the Nine of Swords, please? Oh, the Magician wanted to come out, but he went back in. Let's see. Can we please get clarification on the Nine of Swords for Pisces? How they feel about their person, or the person they're connecting with. Please clarify the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Wands, or holding on, not letting go. Like you think very well of this person. I mean, you think that they're your Empress, but you're not sure if you should hold on. Or let go. Both of these are saying pretty much the same thing. Should I hold on or should I let it go? That's, that's interesting. Let's see. Uh, can we please get a clarification on the Queen of Pentacles? Is this how their person feels about them or is this focusing more on self-care? Please clarify the Queen of Pentacles. We get the Eight of Pentacles, so maybe they are focusing on themselves. Maybe that is what that's saying. They're looking at what they want. They know what they want, and it, maybe they're focusing on making, preparing themselves, making themselves um, what uh, working on who they are, so that they can be ready for that whatever they're aiming towards here. What is that Knight of Swords? What is, where is he headed? What's he charging in for? Oh, yeah, that's what came out. I wanted to come out before, but I went back in. The Lovers and the High Priestess. So, yeah. They know where they want to go. I, I mean, we're asking how they feel about you. And I, I feel like this is saying that they want to come towards you. Like they, they want you. They want you. And they're trying to figure out how to get there. But they're working on themselves because they feel like um, they need to be, be They need. They feel like they need work. But look at them charging towards that lover's. And the High Priestess here talks about their intuition. Oh, I didn't realize these cards aren't really exactly showing for you, but here we go. The High Priestess here talks about, um, you know, well, it talks about, it can talk about things that are hidden. Um, but it also talks about intuition. And it's like they, um, they want to know, they want to head where they know they should be heading as far as love is. So 
that's a good sign but they're still clearly here working they're focused on working on themselves right here with this eight of pentacles with the queen of pentacles let's see if we can get a possible outcome real quick it's a possible outcome for pisces and the person that they're dealing with will this person um well are they gonna stay isolated and work on themselves or are they gonna come towards Pisces? Will Pisces go towards them? Can we get a possible outcome for these two, please? Possible outcome. We got the Queen of Swords, which is um, being logical and being um, well, kind of cutting out what, what shouldn't be, right? I've, I've felt this energy. <laughs> it's about, it's about being done with the, being done with games, right? Being done with those things that aren't helping us or aren't um, those things that are dragging us down. So, and then we get the Four of Cups. which is focusing on the past. Maybe what they're saying here is that, um, I don't know, Pisces, I feel like maybe you might be walking away. You might be cutting out. If this person isn't going to um, come towards you, then you might be deciding to let it go. Let go of those, let go of these cups here that you're focusing on so that you can focus on something new. Cut out the stuff that isn't that isn't serving you. Oh, we got an eight of wands here, which is about communication. It's, a, it's also about forward movement. Perhaps you're gonna tell them that if they can't, if they're not ready to like, commit to trying with you, then you're going to walk on because holding on to something is not exactly healthy for us. So perhaps that is what you're doing here. That's what it looks like according to the cards here. Let's see if we can get an advice card for you. This is actually like my favorite deck right now. Your heart knows the way. It's an oracle deck and I... Oops. I just feel like the cards are gorgeous, but also the messages are gorgeous, and I found it helpful in my life, so hopefully you will find it helpful in yours. Let's see what the cards have to say. Advice for Pisces in this situation here with whoever they are connected with. Oh, advice for Pisces. Wow, interesting. The advice we get here, the card says, lean in anyway, card number 48. Let me read to you what this message says. It says... When fear says it cannot be done, it's time to lean in. Has your fear gotten in the way of you pursuing your dreams? When fear takes over and your doubts creep in, it's easy to walk away from all that you want. After all, do you really have what it takes? Do you deserve to live your dreams? Will others judge you as selfish? Who do you think you are? This is the destructive voice of your fear. This card reminds you that your fear is a sign that it's time to lean in. You feel discomfort because your soul is coming to life. You feel doubt because you're moving toward what you want. Your fear is triggered because desire is activated within your heart. Giving up now is not the solution. You fear not because you're unworthy, but because you've forgotten what you are. You are the energy that creates worlds, individualized in human form. You are pure, positive force of creation here to create. 
Remember today the truth of what you are and lean into the fullness of life. Disarm your fears with playful exploration and replace your anxiety with excitement instead. Lean in today, despite your fear, and activate your powerful heart. That's interesting advice. And I mean, in this should I stay or should I go situation, I mean, it looks like you're choosing to cut out um, those things that don't serve you, which maybe is your fear. Maybe you're letting go of your fear because, I mean, this person does want to move towards love. They want to move towards what they know to be love. And the lover's card isn't just love. It's like it's a soulmate. It's someone you feel a powerful connection to. So it's possible here that you'll let go of whatever fears you're holding on to and accept the um, the process that your person is going through. I mean, if they feel that they need to work on themselves, then possibly what you're going to do here is let go of your fears and trust that they are heading your way, even though it might not look that way since they appear to be working on themselves. But they do, they are planning that future and they do know where they want to go. And that's towards their, their lover. So I hope this reading was helpful to you. I feel like I was kind of figuring it out as I go. I'm sorry. And like I said, it's my first recorded reading. So uh, thank you so much, though, for being here. I really do hope that you found a message in here that helps you. Do remember that uh, each the situation might look different to you than the way that uh, I am seeing it, you know. And also, like I said before, it might not be your reading. So don't force it to fit if it doesn't fit, you know. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest, as they say. So thank you again so much for being here. And I do hope um, that you remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Be gentle with your thoughts. And um, have a great day.